just because I may present more femme doesn't mean that I'm any less they them. You know what that thing where you're eating a meal but you're not really eating a meal, you're just kind of picking at food on the counter? My family and I were doing that one night and I just kind of looked at them and said, hey guys, I'm non-binary. <laughs> I don't have a gender. In my opinion, gender is a universe. It is a broad spectrum of planets and stars and sky that truly cannot be contained into a binary. My pronouns are they, them, theirs, and that's a non-negotiable. And they were all kind of like, okay. I think one of the main reasons pronouns are so important is because other than our name, it's one of the main ways that people identify and call us. My pronouns are personally very important to me. Um, growing up, you know, enculturated into kind of a system that really subscribes to toxic masculinity, I was always uncomfortable with being called dude, you know, what's up man. Um, I was so bad at dapping people up, like, you know, how like guys like do that whole like, like that thing. I was so bad at that and it just like, I felt very alienated every time someone would do that to me. So when someone identifies with a pronoun, they're essentially taking their little piece of that broad universe and identifying with that. And so in using their correct pronouns, we're validating that yes, you are right in your identity and you are important and we're respecting you. Coming into terms with my gender queer identity has been one of the most challenging but also rewarding things that I've done. Laverne Cox kind of famously said, misgendering a trans person is an act of violence. And it is, it's an act of psychological violence. It's a denial of somebody's personhood and a complete refusal to acknowledge their identity, whether intentional or not. And so it is something that is entirely wrapped around our everyday lives. So just walking into a restaurant and hearing someone say she, like, will happen within two seconds of me entering, which doesn't happen about any of my other identities. They're not gonna be like, oh, you straight person. You, you know, like that doesn't happen. But automatically someone will make assumptions about gender which translate into pronouns, which mean that I will hear over and over again people saying something about my identity, which is false. I think a lot of people associate expression with identity, and sometimes that's not the case. You know, oftentimes I'm in situations where I'm not the most safe um, being able to express my gender identity. And in those cases, even in those instances where I'm wearing basketball shorts or sneakers, um, you can't take my gender identity away from me because that's mine and not yours. So many different options for who you are and how to define that. So when someone chooses a personal pronoun that they identify with, Using that pronoun is a form of respect and a form of validation that yes, this is your rightful identity and I will respect that. And I know personally when I get misgendered, by strangers it's one thing, but it's especially painful when it's people who are close to you. So when my parents misgender me, it's a knife in my heart because they're the people whose opinions matter more to me than anybody else's. And not knowing how to combat it. It is constant and it is such, such a prevalent part of our society that being misgendered happens countless times in a day and that builds up really quickly and it can really be difficult for a person to hear over and over again because it invalidates your identity over and over and over again. Pronouns are important because they are the smallest and easiest way that you can acknowledge somebody's identity. And I also don't like that people call them their preferred pronouns because it's also not a preference. It's who they are, you need to use those pronouns. It's literally an extension of my arm or my leg. It's, it's just as a part of me as a vital organ. My identity, although you can't see it, still needs to be validated just as much as you would validate the fact that I have five fingers or five toes.